Hi guys. Well, it has suddenly turned into another beautiful spring day in December here. Finally at 4 o'clock in the afternoon on uh, Thursday, December 5th, 2019. And uh, I have just en enjoyed, uh, I guess you could call it an interview or even a conversation with Gilbert Mercier for uh, Collapse Chronicles. That was quite a quite, quite an adventure. You can look forward to that conversation here in the near future. So I'm just now at four o'clock in the afternoon getting around to business here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Do I have the right shirt on? Yes. Uh, oh yes, first order of business is sending out a big thank you to uh, kind-hearted tribes member Marsha for her kind donation to my GoFundMe account, which is still very much alive and well over the Hambone always needs money for his gas-sucking truck and anyone who has ever supported my GoFundMe or any other way of supporting whatever it is I do over here on YouTube. I really do appreciate it and with that pleasant task out of the way, you know, I'm getting all sorts of comments and warnings both here uh, from folks in the tribe here on the channel and in private emails. Something about there's some rumor going on that uh, YouTube is gearing up for some big purge. On uh, apparently on December 10th and four days from now I'm thinking and I'm hoping this is confusion surrounding this thing called COPPA which is all about children in your videos and since Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles have nothing to do with children I have already gone out over there and filled out the forms or whatever saying that I have no content uh, featuring children uh, on my YouTube channels and I'm hoping that's all this is so I don't know and I'm hoping all of this concern for me and uh, my channels particularly Humpty Dumpty Tribe is ill-founded but I just need to send out the message like I did the last time I was getting these, these warnings that if Humpty Dumpty tribe just mysteriously disappears one day uh, that I have created a backup channel over at vimeo.com simply called the Hambone Little Tail channel narcissistically enough. So if I disappear off of here and you want to find out what happened go over there and look for Hambone Little Tail at Vimeo.com. Now a much bigger concern of mine is if they yank down Humpty Dumpty Tribe since Collapse Chronicles is under the umbrella of Humpty Dumpty Tribe, will Collapse Chronicles get yanked down if they yank down uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe? I guess I will find out the same day that you do and if that awful event happens I will try to scramble and set up a replacement channel for Collapse Chronicles over at Vimeo.com but uh, I, I don't know what's going on guys something you know is afoot uh, here on YouTube who the hell knows time will tell so the you know I mentioned a couple of days ago that Humpty Dumpty tribe but not Collapse Chronicles okay only Humpty Dumpty tribe got this uh, little uh, love letter from YouTube and was it three or four days ago uh, saying that they had overridden my direction to them to automatically approve all comments on Humpty Dumpty Tribe except for comments that include terms that I have put a block filter on. 
which would be Guy McPherson and Chemtrails. So the only two terms that I have blocked from ever being mentioned on uh, the comments page are Guy McPherson and Chemtrails. Anything else uh, was I told YouTube to put on all the comments. If there's something that I did not like, then I could go delete the comment and or kick the clueless fucking moron troll off of my channel. But apparently that was not enough for them. So that's the instructions they have from Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles. So they seem to be okay with that, those instructions at Collapse Chronicles. But for whatever reason, there must be some subtle difference. I can't imagine what it can be uh, between, yes, between Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles. So uh, they have been... Uh, they have been holding comments for my review even though I don't want them. And let's see if we can find a common theme. So what I'm going to do, this is the, I don't know if you would call this four or five comments, uh, that YouTube has held for my review on the very video about this subject. Let's see if we can all put our brilliant minds together and find out what will get your comment flagged. What term will get your comment flagged for automatic hold for review by YouTube? The first one, we're just going to go in the hour in, in, uh, from first to last. Okay, why are you so frightened? This comment was held for my review. Well, fuck. Okay, Hector Lamar had this comment held for my review. Screw tube may as well just say they want to control your thoughts. Bunch of fascist fucks. Hmm. Must have been that word fascist. What do you think? Okay. Pascal Paradise. They tube is doing major house cleaning and will purge soon big time. You may have to find a better platform as many people are. We are fucked seven ways to Sunday. Things are blowing up more than we know. And we have Alm responding to that comment and getting his comment held for a review. Thank fuck for that. Okay, what was the next? Okay, that's four. And then, of course, Andy the Gardener. Andy the Gardener. Imagine Andy the Gardener getting flagged by the YouTube bots. What does Andy the Gardener have to say about uh, the YouTube cop bots flagging his comments and holding them for my review. <clears throat> How the fuck, with fuck capitalized, would a human designed AI cop bot know what an appropriate comment is given that computers still possess zero real intelligence and given that 99.99% .99 of real human moderators and I assume the humans that programmed the AI cop bots also don't have a single fucking clue what an appropriate comment might be given their education levels, maturity experience, politics and worldviews are probably woefully inadequate for them to judge 
what is acceptable or not. Moderation is just a form of censorship and a bad idea even if it was not far too nuanced and complicated a job for most humans, let alone a robot. It's just another way to control society and keep everybody in their own safe little boxes so they don't get alarmed or cause offense. Nobody has a right not to be offended. The humans need to be constantly exposed to these sort of ugly, shitty, offensive remarks outside their experience or comfort zone that would trigger the cop-bot algorithms. Because although most comments are total rubbish, on rare occasions, like once in a blue fucking moon, a human might actually say something wise, but totally offensive or learn something from it, equally unlikely as that might be, besides, in my experience, all the little snowflakes and denialists whose videos I comment on are perfectly capable of moderating the comments on their own fucking videos. All right, thank you, Andy the Gardener. So what I'm getting ready to do now is I am getting ready to approve all of those comments. Okay, we have approved all of those comments. And... Dun, 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 dun. Well, they've disappeared off the held for review. So let me go over to Video Manager and see if they uh, have appeared. Okay, let's go over to the comments. Uh, have they appeared? Ah, there you go. I do not believe it. Andy the Gardener's comment has appeared. All right, uh, okay, Pascal and Alms comment has appeared. Okay, we're missing well fuck. Uh, what happened to well fuck? Well fuck. Ah, here it is. Why are you so frightened? Well, fuck. So, uh, anyway, your, uh, your, your, we are so fucked moderator has restored all of those comments, has over, I have overridden the, uh, YouTube cop bots, come back, uh, in an hour, and, uh, and see if they're still up. Uh, I'm wondering when they're, and this will certainly be a test of that, when are they going to just start ripping down videos that have the word fuck in the title? That's going to be their next one. Uh, and then, of course, they're going to start actually listening in to the audio, I guess, for the word fuck. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of this fucking rant. Oh yeah, I have one favor to ask. If anybody out there listening, what I need to do is uh, I need to go on to Flickr. I have no fucking clue how to go on to fucking Flucker. Uh, if you know how to go on to Flickr, pull an image off of Flickr, Put it in a JPEG format and email it to me. 
I would be greatly appreciative. If you know how to do that, please drop me an email at Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com. Something like Flickr photo in the subject, and you can support my work on uh, YouTube by helping me figure this one out. Anyway, I'm going to get the fuck out of here and go enjoy the last hour of this beautiful day while I still can. Oh uh, yeah, it's Thursday. Uh, I will probably come back at you with a depressed collapsitarian whine after the sun goes down and I'm sitting here facing another bleak, lonely night here in the end times as I uh, figure out what the fuck to do with my life when those motherfuckers at YouTube yank down this fucking channel. Bye, guys.